Have you ever wanted to add a little more extra polish with your Excel dashboards? Maybe you want buttons or labels to respond when users hover over them? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so to do the menu, what you need to do is go into the Developer tab, insert an ActiveX label, and then have the same number of labels as pages that is in your report. So in this example, I'll just do four. If you select all four by keeping your finger on control and then go to shape format, align to the top and then distribute horizontally, it'll equally space them out for you. Okay, so if you right click one of the labels and go to properties, what you can see is all the information about that label. Now, what we're gonna do is change the color to green when your mouse is hovering over the top of it and then black when it's not. So that's the four color uh, attribute there. So that's the code you want for black. And we'll choose that one for green. So I'll copy that. If you double click it, you'll open up the VBA screen and it will tell you the control that you're in. In this case, it's label one. And then on the top right, it'll tell you the action that will have to happen to trigger the code that you'd put in. Now we don't want click, we want mouse move for the hover. Okay, so within there, if you put in with label one, and then the four color, and then the, the code that's in the properties. Um, and I'm also going to make it bold as well. Great. We don't need that one for now. So if you X out of there, and what you'll find is, change to a different color. If you take the design mode off and then hover over, it now goes green and bold. Great. So if you do that to the other three, again, mouse move. Change it to the label that you're looking at. So now, if you hover over the second one, it will turn green. If you hover over the third one and the fourth one, it does the same action. What we need to do, though, is when you're hovering over something else, that the other ones that you're not hovering over, if you hover away from all the labels, it goes black and loses focus. So the way you can do that is adding another label. And if you put that over the top, uh, you don't need any text, which is caption, clear that. And then if you right click and send it to the back, and then again, double click, go to mouse move. And then you want to get the Color code for it being black. And then again, go through each label. So the label one, no full color, reports. Two. Okay. 
three, four. And we'll do the we'll do the same with the bold. Apart from being true, let's be false. Okay, so we X out of that, and what should happen now is when you hover over the, the latest label, the one that's sat behind, it will turn all of the other labels black and not bold. So you should only be highlighting the one label that your mouse is hovering over. Great. Uh, and then after that, you would probably want to rename them. So, so page one, page two, page three, and page four. Okay, and then if you want to take it to the next level and actually put the the code in that will cycle through each page. Uh, so we'll we'll be on page one now. Obviously, maybe something a bit more applicable. But if you want to get to page two, for example, then double click the label. And then rather than being on mouse move, you also do want it on click this time. And you just want sheet two dot select. So you take the design mode off, hover over the top, it will go green. If you click it, you're now on page two. Obviously you're gonna to need to do the same menu on this page, which will get you back and then you can hide the sheet tabs. The other example where we were using a button where you hover over the over the top and it changes the caption exactly the same process um, you just have a button which again is active that's control drag that on and then put a label behind it again send it to the back Take away the text. But this time, you can change the color again or um, any other control that's actually the, the properties you can actually change as well but in this example I just change it to say scroll here when the mouse isn't there and then when the text is uh, sorry when the um, when the mouse is hovering above the label behind the text uh, will say thank you Actually, no. you want to say thank you. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. Mouse moves away, it says scroll here, moves over the button and says thank you. And that's it. Um, have a go. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.